Hi, this is Mike Pettigrew and welcome to a new episode of Transformation and Empowerment. Did you know that you can tap into your own inner creative genius whenever you wish? You see, you have amazing creative genius inside your own mind and you can use it to improve every area of your life whenever you wish. Now, Often people believe that they have to wait for inspiration to arrive before they can create something really outstanding. But this really is not true and it's actually possible to get your creative juices flowing at will whenever you wish. And I learned this myself many years ago when I started composing music. And I did everything with a keyboard connected to a computer. And even though my piano skills were pretty abysmal, I was able to produce some pretty good music. But to do this, I'd, I'd played something really bad on the keyboard and then I'd spent ages in, in, in the computer, on the computer screen, moving notes around and getting the timing just right. And it took a lot of time and it was great fun and, and I really loved producing music. But often I'd be driving along the road and music would come into my mind and I'd immediately sing the, the notes into a recording device. And then later on, when in front of my computer, I'd start creating the music that had come to my mind while driving. But there's, there's something really interesting that I discovered. Often I'd sit down in front of my key keyboard and my computer and there'd be no music in my mind at all. And just by, just by fooling around on the keyboard, my creativity started to be stimulated and I created some of my best compositions at times when I didn't feel inspired or creative at all. Now, this was back in the early 1990s and it taught me a really important lesson. And that lesson is that we can intentionally kickstart our creativity whenever we wish and we don't have to wait for blinding flashes of inspiration. But this doesn't apply just to music. This process holds true no matter what we are hoping to create or change in our life. For example, if we're a writer, we really don't need to give in to such things as writer's block. If we take the right actions and do the right things, everything is possible and it's possible to kickstart our creativity whenever we wish and pre produce great material. Now, one thing I noticed back then when I was composing a lot of music was that we all possess a creativity muscle that we must exercise in order to be able to tap into our creativity easily and quickly whenever we wish. However, just like when exercising the physical body, it can take time and effort before the process becomes really easy. But with regular effort, the process absolutely will become easy for you. There is a very simple exercise you can do that should illustrate clearly what I'm saying. When you put your mind to task, then your mind starts working for you. If you do not regularly put your mind to task, then very little changes from day to day and things just go on the way they've always gone on. What, what I'm about to describe may at first appear quite challenging, but if you do these exercises, you will be astounded by all the amazing ideas that you will develop. You really can become an ideas machine. You see, every goal that you set, and every aspect of your life that you wish to change always starts with an idea. So doesn't it make sense that you learn how to tap into wonderful ideas that can enable you to transform your life and achieve all your dreams? I certainly believe so. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could tap into your mind and come up with all sorts of really useful ideas whenever you wish? Well, this really is possible and it's far easier than you may think. When you come up with great ideas, you can take action on those ideas and gradually you'll start to see results in the world around you. And it's true to say that we can work very hard and still not see great results. However, when you have amazing ideas that are backed with excitement and determination, all sorts of wonderful things become possible for you. So to get your creative mind operating efficiently like a well-oiled machine, at first you need to start squeezing out of your mind ideas that can improve your life in various different ways. And as I said earlier, at first it may take quite some effort, but if you're persistent in this, you'll quickly become very proficient at tapping into your creativity whenever you wish and creating all sorts of amazing possibilities for yourself. 
Now it would be a really great idea to do one of these creativity exercises each day for at least a week so you can really start to see the amazing unlimited creative power that lies within you and which you can tap into at will. So on day one, write down a list of 10 things that you could do to express your gratitude to others. Now these should be things that can, you can easily do that will show your appreciation of those who've helped you in some way. So that's day one. On day two, write down a list of 10 things you could do to improve your physical health. Now these can be anything that you could do in order to become healthier. So that's day two. On day three, write down 10 ways in which you could improve your emotional health. These will be things that can contribute to your overall well-being and happiness. And it, it's important to include it's important to include ideas that can help other people in meaningful ways. And, and this is really because our own happiness is directly connected to the efforts we make towards the happiness of others around us, those around us. And in, in these exercises, you don't have to stop at 10 ideas. If ideas start come tumbling out of you, then please keep going. 15 or 20 ideas is a lot better than 10. And the more you do this, the more you do this, the more you exercise your creativity muscles and it becomes a resource you can tap into whenever you need. Now, we've all used apps on our smartphones and most of us have a good idea of what sort of apps are, are available in the app stores. So your next exercise is to come up with 10 ideas for, for smartphone apps. So if you write out 10 ideas for apps, it, it doesn't matter if you later find out that some of these apps already exist, but just start writing and see what happens. Just start playing with this. Some of your, your, some of your ideas may not be great at all, while others may surprise you. And an app is simply something that makes people's lives better or easier or helps them in some, some way. And most people find that uh, coming up with the first few apps is quite easy, but coming up with the last few of the 10 gets a bit more challenging. So go and look at the app store on your phone and see what sort of apps people are, are producing. Then come up with 10 of your own. Now on day five, please come up with 10 things you could do to add more fun and enjoyment in your life. And these should be things that you can start doing easily and which you could put into practice right away. Um, I really feel that many of us move through life each day on, on autopilot, simply reacting to what happens to us. But when we take stock of what we're doing and what we could be doing, it allows us to bring a lot more excitement and variety into our lives. So that, that's on day five. On day six, write down a list of 10 places that you'd love to visit in the next 10 years. This one should be quite easy. And then finally on day seven, on day seven of this exercise, write down a list of the three biggest problems in your life right now. And once you've done this, write down at least four things that you could do to overcome each one of these problems. Now, at the end of just one week, you'll probably be very surprised by, by your ability to come up with creative ideas whenever you wish. By writing down your ideas like, like I've just mentioned, and by doing this frequently, you'll, you'll keep your creativity muscles exercised and in great shape. And this will allow you, this will allow you to tap into your creativity whenever you wish and use it to create all sorts of wonderful things for your life. So please remember, keep a special notebook for all your creative ideas. And don't, don't worry if some of them are completely nuts because when you do this, you'll definitely have plenty of really good ideas too. And, and also, really important, please don't allow your internal editor to stop you. Just keep the process flowing. Now, what I mean by your internal editor is that part of yourself that tells you to delete the last sentence or the last idea because it isn't good enough. Simply just let ideas flow out of you without any restraint and then after the process is complete you can start editing if you really feel you need to. Whatever it is that you wish to change or create in your life, 
everything starts with an idea and the more ideas you have then the more you can transform your own life and your environment here's a final thought about this for you to consider if every person in the world were to spend just one hour each week coming up with ideas to improve their lives then the world would be a very different place than it is right now so please do make a commitment to yourself right now to set aside just one hour each week to do this for yourself and you'll be amazed at how your life will transform thanks so much for watching and i look forward to speaking with you again soon I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode and before I go I have a very special offer for you which I'll explain in a moment but before I do I just want to say that if you've enjoyed this episode then please do give us a like below this video because when you do this it enables other people to also benefit from it of course if you'd like to leave a comment then you're most welcome to do so and I'll be really happy to hear from you now if you're watching this episode on YouTube then please do remember to subscribe to my channel and you can also listen to my transformation and empowerment podcast on iTunes now let me tell you about the special bonus I mentioned a moment ago because if you go to my website right now at mikepettergroup.com then for a limited time only you can get free lifetime access to our special members only area. Membership will give you access to all sorts of inspiring and empowering videos and training materials that you won't find anywhere else on my website. And again, right now, membership is completely free, but I can really only offer this for a limited time. So I strongly recommend that you get your membership right now. And I believe you will find it a very valuable resource and source of inspiration and empowerment and you can sign up and get immediate access from any page on my website so again thank you so much for watching this episode and I look forward to serving you again soon <laughs>